Hello. In this video, we are going to focus on how to calculate parallel and series capacitors. Now, let us look at this problem. The diagram below shows two capacitors, V and Q. This is these are the capacitors of capacitances 5 microfarad and 10 microfarad. Find the charges in P and Q respectively. We are to find the charges. We need to know that the formula for capacitance C is equal to Q over B. Q over V. And C is the capacitance. Q is the quantity of charge. And B is the potential difference between them. Now, to find the quantity of charge, find the charges whose cross multiply and find Q is equals to CB. As you can see, we have uh, we have a capacitance across P and we also have capacitance across Q. Therefore, to find these two, we will say Q of V, which is along this axis, is equals to C of V times the potential difference and Q of Q is equals to C of Q times the potential difference and this is going to give us as you can see now we have this potential difference here is equals to the B is equals to 20 volts Therefore, here we have C of V is 5 microfarad. We have 5 microfarad times 20. And in this case, we are going to have we are going to have 5 times 20 is going to give us 100. This is give this is going to give us 100. The unit of charge is in column and remember that we are dealing with mic micro therefore in this case we are going to have 100 micro column and you should remember that micro is equals to 10 to the power of minus 6 therefore we have 100 times 10 to the power of minus 6 micro farad or 100 times 10 to the power of minus 6 sorry this is not faraday this is supposed to be column which is the unit of charge therefore this is the charge along v for charge along q of q is equals to we have 10 microfarad along this axis which is c of q therefore c of q is 10 microfarad times voltage the voltage is the same which is 20 volts times 20 and this is going to give us 10 times 20 is going to give us 200 and the unit of this uh, charge is in column therefore we have 200 micro column now let us move to another problem problem 2 what is the equivalence of capacitance of 3 microfarad capacitor and a 6 microfarad capacitor connected in parallel? Two, co two capacitors are connected in parallel. The formula that we're going to use is C is equal to C1 plus C2. And in this case, 3 microfarad is C1, which is 3 plus C2 is the 6 microfarad therefore we have c1 and we have uh, c2 which is 6 microfarad therefore 3 for us plus 6 is going to give us uh, 9 microfarad and this is our final answer now we'll move to the next question three capacitors each of capacitances we have three capacitors, each of capacitances 18 microfarad. 
are connected in series. Calculate the effective capacitance of the capacitor. In this case, we will use the formula that says 1 over C is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3. And in this case, we have C1 equals to this, C2 equals to this, and C3 is equal to this. Therefore, this is going to be 1 over 18 plus 1 over 18 plus 1 over 18. And this is going to be give us collectively, when you calculate it, you are going to have 3 over 18. And this is 3 over 18. Therefore, we have 1 over C is equal to 3 over 18. If you cross multiply, therefore, you are going to have 3C is equal to 18. Divide both sides by 3, by 3. 3 will cancel 3. Therefore, you have C is equal to, therefore, we have C is equal to 18 divided by 3. 18 divided by 3 is going to give us 6. And this is capacitance. Therefore, we have microfarady. This is our final answer. Let us move to the next question. This is a this diagram. This diagram shows three capacitors C1, C2, and C3. This is C1, C2, and C3 of capacitances 2 microfarady, 6 microfarady, and 3 microfarady, respectively. The potential difference across C1, C2, and C3, respectively, are therefore, in this case, we are trying to find the potential difference for these uh, capacitors. And uh, what we need to do is to find the total capacitor. And to find the total capacitor, we will say that 1 over C is equal to 1 over 2 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3. And this is going to give us, if you take all these ones together, this is going to give us uh, 3 plus 1 plus, sorry, let me do it again. This is going to give us, uh, if we take uh, 6 as the number, therefore you have 1 over C, sorry, let me do it here, so that we can have more space, 1 over C is equals to, root, if we take 6 here, 6 times, 6 times 6 times you see 6 times 2 into 2 2 3 2 into 6 we have a 2 into 6 is 3 plus 6 into 6 times 1 we have 1 plus 3 into 3 1 3 into 6 2 times 1 is 2 therefore we have 2 and therefore this is going to give us 6 over 6 which is equal to 1 in this case we have 1 over C is equal to 1 when we cross multiply we're going to have C times 1 is equal to 1 therefore we have C is equal to 1 therefore our final capacitance is equal to 1 let us move to another problem now uh, what is the resultant of the capacitance? Oh, sorry. We need to find the voltage. In this case, we found the capacitance is equal to 1. Since the capacitance is equal to 1, we need to know that the formula Q is equal to CB. And we are to find B. Therefore, B is equal to Q over C which is the formula that we are supposed to use and in this case we will say that for B1 is equal to Q over C1 Q over 
c1 which is going to give us q over c1 is what we have uh, we we'll have 12 over 2 but how did we arrive at uh, 12 which is the quantity which is the q remember that we have q is equals to cb which is equals to and we have this c is equals to 1 from our previous uh, from what we had here this is 1 and the voltage here is 12 therefore you say 1 times 12 is equals to 12 therefore our is equals to 12 columns which is which is the charge therefore in this case you have 12 Q over C1 which is going to give us 12 over 2 is equals to 6 volts B2 is equals to Q over C2 which is equals to 12 the same 12 over C2 what is C2 the C2 we have uh, C2 in this case, as you can see, is 6 microfaraday. Therefore, we will say 12 over 6 is equal to 2, 12 divided by 6 is 2 volts, which is B2. And for V3, we're going to have 12, uh, sorry, 12 again, which is Q over C3. And what is C3 here? C3 is 3 microfaraday which is going to give us uh, 12 over 3 and 12 over 3 is equal to 4 volts therefore this is B1, B2 and B3